All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your host, the uh, Raven here. Part seven of my Zombies Ain't My Neighbors playthrough. Um, low on lives, and I don't have any health. Uh, I have to fight the spider boss. This level is extremely cheap and difficult. Um, there's already an evil doll thing to pop out and attack. But anyway, let's go. And I lost two health bars off of one attack. Oh, a mystery potion. That's good. I'm trying to think which wall do I bust that will like advance me. There's a, there's a lot of stuff I want to skip. <clears throat> Oh, I got goo. Oh, med kit in the treasure chest. That's really lucky. But, I mean, there's so much stuff following me or fighting me. It's like, come on. And they keep getting boogied. It's like, come on, with the boogeyman crap. Okay. Swear. Ah, uh, that was extremely cheap. I just lost a victim, I swear. Alright, up up next we had Dr. Tong. I wonder if he's going to give me some health. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Alright, so we have two med kits and two lives and health. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna... I need a bazooka to open up this web. And I need a weed eater to escape. Uh... Dr. Tongue himself. So let's take a monster potion and try to beat his butt. And I hate the way he runs away from you. When you're in the monster form, he won't be near you. But if you're a human, he'll be running all over you. I hate being stuck trapped in the web, and it's so such a cheap boss, man. It's not not only does he shoot like acid or whatever, but he also leaves the web. It's like, come on. I wish the monster could just walk over the webbing. That doesn't. That's pretty cheap. Uh, 
I missed with a Pandora's box. Got him. Well, not too bad of a, a level. Uh, the next level, I'm going to use ghost potions and just run through it. I don't have two victims, I swear. At least I had two lives and I didn't use a med kit. So, I'll try to use the ghost potion to get through this. I only have two victims, so I'm halfway done just by saving that one kid, I swear. <laughs> now, I wish I could find a way to that monster potion. Excellent. Avoid the werewolf assholes. I also need a med kit. Oh, uh, there's also a mystery potion. Excellent. And as you can see, I'm just using ghost. Ghost potions are pretty useless anyway. Because you can't attack while you're in the ghost form, so a lot of times they just like give you a temporary escape until they kill you. Alright, and here we got Dracula coming after me. What an asshole. Alright, well, there's that level defeated. Uh, it's hard with only two, uh, you know, victims. Extremely difficult to get through. And level 38, uh, extremely tough. I, I mean, I've been here off screen before, but get my med kits out and ancient artifact. And my radar is like showing no victims on screen. There's also a skull key door with a one up. That's that's something I need. Okay, there's a victim down to the south south uh east. I'm gonna try to use this trampoline to skip. In a way, the game is easier when you have... Sometimes it's easier when you have less victims. Sometimes it's harder. Let's try to get this med kit. Because I need health. I need health and uh, lives. I'm going to keep searching the level for the skull key. Because there's a section where... if You know, there's like an extra life and a... Uh, There's like an extra life and uh, a one up. I mean, an extra life and a monster potion behind a skull door. And that's like necessary for me. So I'm trying to search my way through. As you can see, there it is. An ancient artifact, any like mermen get too close. I'm gonna take a health potion, be on the safe side. Sweat. 
square and it's like I can't find it. I don't know where it is. And the Mormon usually they give up, but like lately they've been falling the hell out of me. through this like one more time if I don't find it after that I mean all right that's enough I mean I'm wasting ancient artifact I can't find the skull key I don't know where it is so let's just go through the door Well, I'm up, back up to three victims, y'all. <laughs> supposed to have ten. I only have three. Well, that's the second to last level. Destroy all vampires. Uh, hate the vampires. Uh, I don't really know how to assault this level. Um, I gotta pause while I'm talking. Like, vampires are extremely difficult and cheap enemies. I don't know this level's layout. Also, um, I only have two lives and only three med kits. I only have like uh, maybe three monster potions and only like four Pandora's boxes. And I'm going to need all those items to defeat Dr. Tongue, you know, the final Dr. Tongue. So uh, I'm going to split this video. I'm going to end this video right here. Uh, stay tuned for part eight, which will be the finale of my Zombies Ate My Neighbors playthrough where. I defeat this level and I go defeat Dr. Tongue and beat the game and show y'all how it's done. Although I'm, I've been for videos, other playthroughs of other people, and there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people out here who play this game, and there's some who mastered it. Um, like I say, I'm not a master of it. I just want. I just like to play old games for fun that are fun and show y'all. And cause like maybe y'all remember them from your childhood or anything like or maybe you played the game and weren't able to beat it so it'd be it's nice to see somebody who you know to go through it so you can see levels you haven't seen or defeat monsters you haven't defeated well anyway, I'm your host of Raven I'm gonna quit running my mouth stay tuned for part 8 in the finale of my zombies ate my neighbors uh, playthrough and y'all have a good day